Hi everyone and welcome back to a new video. My name is Boo um, and today I am in Cass again because I'm very excited to be making a new sim for a new series that I'm going to be starting. Um, after much thought I've decided to start the Sims in Bloom Legacy Challenge. Um, it's like a 10 generation Sims challenge created by um, a Sims Garden. The Sims in Bloom Legacy Challenge is sort of similar to like the Not So Berry Challenge where for each generation you have like a specific list of things you need to accomplish before you move on to the next generation. However, each generation is represented by a different flower. Um, the sim I'm making at the moment is our first generation, which is um, the flower Daisy. Her colors um, are white and yellow. Ironically enough, I've actually decided to call our generation one Daisy sim Daisy. I um, <laughs> sort of thought that Everyone else playing this may have done the same thing and maybe I would want to do something different. However, I really love the name Daisy so much that I just didn't want to pass it up. Plus, I thought like she is the Daisy sim, so I should just call her Daisy. Um, I've Right here, I'm sort of deciding what makeup I want to put on her. Um, at first, I was thinking like I should stick to the yellow and white theme and put like yellow makeup on her. But I don't know. It just like I wasn't really vibing with it. So instead, I went with this like peachy like gold highlight so it was it's still sort of yellow but um, it's a little bit different than what I thought I was gonna pick. I sort of struggled a little bit deciding what hair color I should pick. Um, I was unsure whether I should go for like a blonde or more of like a white color. Um, right here I just had clicked on the gray by accident so <laughs> that's why she has gray hair but you can see me changing it back to like the new white shades. I think the sims added these. I'm pretty sure they're not customs like this is all I don't think I have any custom colors really for like the Max's Match hair. I'm pretty sure it's like all Sims, um, which is great. The Sims have really extended their like colors on hairs in the last few years and skin tones too. Um, so with our first generation Daisy, um, our aspiration is to be a freelance uh, botanist. Um, her career has to be gardening and she's got to be cheerful, clumsy and loves the outdoors. I'm really excited for this generation because everything we have to do um, sort of has to do with like the outdoor activities like gardening, fishing, which I'm really excited about because um, I do get my sims to do gardening quite often but I've never really focused on it fully as a career before so I'm really excited to give that a go and obviously like grow our family and grow our friend groups. Um, I really wanted to give her five outfits um, for each category but I just figured that would be way too many so I just stuck with giving her five for her every day and then um, one to two for everything else. I think I did give her two for every single other category though which I don't usually do. Um, I just really like her like there's just something about her that's quite charming and I really was just enjoying dressing her up. Yellow is actually my favorite color so I had a lot of fun with this one but after looking at yellow outfits for the last like 30 minutes or so I am a little bit over it right now so um, hopefully once we get into game I'll be like a little bit <laughs> more excited to see her in her clothes again. Um, I feel like I don't know whether it's my reshader but I sort of have noticed that all of the yellow clothes that I have in the sims are like this really super bright yellow um, whereas I sort of enjoy more of like a pastel tone which I like kind of was looking for when I was dressing her but I just didn't really have anything that like fit the aesthetic I was going for that was also like in that pastel tone. You can see me here just changing out all the hair for Daisy. <laughs> um, I decided to stick with four different hair types and just like change them out throughout her outfits. Um, I sort of like her main one is this one with the two little buns on top. And then I also picked um, a hair that's like just fully out. Um, <laughs> and then I also picked like the two little space buns, like the low ones, not space buns, I guess, two little low buns. And then that claw clip as well. All four of the hairs are quite similar because they have those like face framing pieces, which so I thought they would sort of go um, all together. But obviously I might change up her hair in you know 10 episodes time or something I just think she really suited this one um I really wanted to find a hair that would um be suitable because her ear is a little bit like sticky out a little bit and I just wanted something that would show that off because I think it's super cute um she sort of reminds me like of a fairy or <laughs> like sort of elfy vibes a little bit which is what I sort of like leaned into with her which is why she's like got like bright eyes and like her like white hair and she's like quite like pale um I just thought like 
I don't know, it just sort of is like elfy inspired a little bit, like Lord of the Rings Legolas, I guess. <laughs> I think she turned out really cute though. I'm quite happy with her. I like all her outfits. I don't know if they all fully like go together yet, but I wanted to like do something like cute, but I also wanted her to have like a few practical ones because her aspiration is gardening um here you can see me just trying on a few hats I just figured like if she's going to be outside gardening all the time she should probably wear a hat even though you know this the sims sun is fake but that's all right we, we we're immersing ourselves into it so I'm just like fixing up her accessories I think she looks really cute <laughs> And here we are. I've just slowed this one down to give you guys a little slow-mo spin of all of her outfits. Um, I've decided to give her five main outfits, um, two formal, one's a little bit more casual. I've got um, two sporty ones too because she has to get the um, wellness skill, I think. So I thought well, like one yoga inspired one would be better. Um, I've given her two swimwear as well just because the bathing suits are really cute, two hot weather because I figured she'd be outside a lot and then two cold weather as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.